Investigators say there is no doubt that the attempted armed robbery outside a Clinton Township bank was a well orchestrated job. And as 7 Action News investigator Jim Kurtzner tells us tonight, the guys behind it may be pros, which could help police track them down. The target here was juicy. Police sources say 20 grand in cash right at the front door of this bank. This location also juicy because of another one very nearby. He must have cased the area or, uh, you know, knew the area and figured this was the best spot to, to do it. Take a closer look. This very corner surrounded by tall brush and only visible from a couple of houses. Inside the van, blood on the seat and steering wheel. The robber likely shot while getting away from the bank. Sources say this van was stolen on August 18th from Southfield. The army of police out here yesterday with tracking dogs, but they could only find a cold trail. No trail of blood, though, from, from the van. No, no. No, like uh, he must have had an accomplice picking him up. Police sources say back at the bank, the dead robber, a black male in his 20s, wearing full body assault armor, a mask, a hoodie, and gloves. No ID. His fingerprints will be put into the APHIS system to see if they match a criminal record. A window on the bank boarded up. 30 to 35 shots fired. The robber likely hit in the head. A shot that would kill him. Well planned out uh, and executed. Unfortunately for them, they, they met a guard that was well equipped and well trained. Plus, this went down when people here were not home but working and close to a great getaway route. It's easy access to freeways and, and main thoroughfares to get in and out of here quickly. Since the gun used here by the robber did not show up registered, they're going to have to test it to see if it's been fired in any other crimes. Tonight, the manhunt continues. I'm in Clinton Township, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News.